This next one may shock some of you. A new government report has found that some Canadian MPs have been helping foreign actors in China and India meddle in our Canadian politics here. So they willingly did this. Now, how could this happen? And what does this mean going forward? Here with his perspectives on this is constitutional lawyer and political commentator, Maître Frédéric Bérard. Maître Bérard, thank you for joining us. Thanks to you. I guess the first question is, how did this happen? I mean, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pretty good question, though I'm not sure I do have the response for you. Uh, I was I was quite surprised to learn that this type of uh, of uh, modus operandi um, had happened in Canada since the 80s. I mean that's that's 40 years ago now. Wow. Um, we knew that you know some you know th- there was some kind of uh, strategy uh, that involved uh, Russia with uh, with the U.S. Russia with with France, but we didn't know that we were. Uh, that important uh, to the world in order to make sure for them that they could influence our democratic process. But this is strange here because we've all heard of something called spying, right? That's like when a foreign actor comes in and sort of pretends to be what they're not. This isn't so so much spying. This is what? This is like a politician calling someone on the phone or or receiving influence. How, How do you... Explain this. Like, what actually happened, in your opinion, here? Well, well that, that, you know, the toughest part of all this is knowing what it's what is legal and what is not legal. Mm. Uh, because obviously, there's a part of it that is just diplomacy. Either we we like it or not, this is diplomacy. Like, take for instance, Pauline Marois when she was the premier of Quebec, when she went to to Scotland to try to influence Scottish people to vote for the yes. For their referendum, for their referendum. Yeah, yeah. correct. So this is a this is some sort of you know uh, of, of strategy that is necessarily legal. It's not it's not dangerous, but is it still part of that strategy? On the other hand, if you have I don't know a minister or an MP in Ottawa who is giving some you know confidential information to the Kremlin or uh, to, to the, the China government, this is clearly illegal. This is um, this is uh, provided by the criminal code. This is what we call a criminal infraction, right? So this is way different than just, you know, exerting, uh, let's say, a traditional diplomacy. Is this treason? Like, I don't know how this works. Like, are there, I mean, are there definitions, right? I feel like there's a definition for treason. What you described as diplomacy to me, as I kind of see it like, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. That's yeah. how that works. But when you're actually giving confidential information, what happens? I mean, there has to be some kind of a consequence to that, right? Yes. Yes, of course. And this is treason for sure. And, and you know what? Now, Justin Trudeau is telling people, well, we will not uh, render public the names of those MP, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not very comfortable with that mm. because we need to know what really happened. The, the RCMP has to know what really happened, and then they have to conduct their own investigation. And if necessary, we're going to have to sue those people because this is, I mean, uh, 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 an encroachment to the criminal code, probably. So we cannot just say, well, we will keep those names for us. I mean, it's not how it works uh, when you, you uh, live in the rule of law state. No, and also I don't think, I mean, these are voters, right? You can't just say, like, don't worry, we'll take care of it. That's not how things work. There has to be a sense of, <laughs> no, but there has to be a sense of transparency and accountability. Of um, well, okay, so this report was conducted by the National Security and Intelligence Committee. Um, yeah. And... It showed, actually, that it went in every level of government, across party lines, went into the public, private sector, I should say, and even in media. So when you yeah. hear that it was everyone and everywhere at the same time, what do you, how do you react to that? <laughs> well, that's a bit panicking, right? It is. Um, I, I'm probably, we're probably the only ones in Canada who uh, <laughs> have no uh, impact on that, and mm. that's I'm joking, obviously, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're taking a look to our neighbor right now. So who's involved, who's not? Yeah. Uh, well, this is this is very, very um, concerning. Pro- pro- yeah, it's problematic because it's 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 the whole integrity 
of the democratic system in Canada yeah, that well, is in danger right now. Let's face it. That's how we call it. So now if we're trying to protect some people and not rend- rendering public their names, well, it's even worse. Now it's time to, uh, to, to face the challenge and say, well, this is what, what happened. And if we have to uh, sue those people, let's sue them. And, and maybe we, we need to have a, a clear commission, a public commission mm-hmm. in, in full transparency about what happened and how can we put some safeguards for the future. Yeah, it, it's very sort of Watergate-esque. It's not so much now about the crime, yeah. it's about the cover-up, right? Like what's about Correct. to happen next? Um, Correct. It, it's interesting that you, you said what you just said about in terms of transparency because Krista Freeland said this week, well, this shouldn't undermine confidence in the government. <laughs> so yeah, you're laughing. Okay, that's the yes, reaction, right? Yeah. <laughs> but come on. I mean, what, what the hell is that? It should not. <laughs> yes, it should. That, yeah. That's the other opposite 100% the opposite and uh, what and what makes me panicking a bit is that you know as you just said with the watergate this is a fantastic mm-hmm. metaphor because a parallel because this is precisely the problem here it's not that that this just happened mm-hmm. for 40 years it's the fact that they're they're telling to tell us don't worry about it we're in charge well actually you're not you're covering some people from your caucus, this is what you're doing. And, and Pierre Poliev just said, I didn't read the report. Uh, I'm not very interested to in it, blah, blah, blah. The reason why you don't want to read the report, Pierre, is that you, you, you know that you have some MPs yeah. who did probably uh, well, what some liberal MPs did as well. Yeah, everyone's got their hand in the cookie jar in this one. Yeah. Maître Frédéric Perra, thank you again uh, for your insight. Uh, yeah, we'll talk again about this one, I'm sure. Have a great weekend. <laughs> you too. Have fun. Right. Don't panic too much. No, no, no. I'm trying. Stay <laughs> calm, everyone. Thank you.